Now, to all of my friends that are watching this live on uh, LinkedIn or on Facebook or on my YouTube channel, you're not going to be able to ask me questions. The, my students and friends that are participating in this live Zoom broadcast can. And so I encourage anybody that's here that does have questions to please uh type your questions in the chat window and we'll be happy to um answer them let me just take a quick peek and see who's here okay now there is a major network marketing eruption that is taking place right now well-recognized leaders from five established network marketing companies, including Viseo, Jeunesse, Isagenics, Mona V, and ACN, have announced today the launch of a new company. The name of the company is being revealed tonight, and the names of more leaders that are joining from other companies will be forthcoming. And uh, the whole concept of a launch is uh, basically to create a lot of excitement and uh, move people to engage. Major eruption. Because these leaders are looking to bring people that they know from their company into the new company. And there's a whole story behind this. There's also a, a major network marketing disruption that's going to be taking place because I have a lot of friends and I have a lot of students that are actively working in the companies that I mentioned. And the truth is that some of them may not want to go. When leaders leave a company to join another company, they try to bring as many leaders and people from their old company with them as they can to the new company. Now, network marketing and network marketers are in the center of a perpetual storm of opportunity. Every month, 200 companies close, fail to launch, merge with other companies, or make unpopular changes that drive their leaders and teams to other companies. Every month, 300 new companies are launched. Statistically, 93% of them will fail within five years and drive their leaders and teams to other companies. Now, to some of you that are brand new to network marketing, you may not know this. You may be hearing this for the first time. I was in network marketing for three and a half years before I learned the information that I'm going to share with you tonight. But after I learned it, my group grew from 350 people to 7,000 people in 18 months. Because when you bring a top earner from another company into your business, they don't come by themselves. They bring members of their teams with them. And so for those of you that are actively participating in any of the companies that I mentioned, you want to protect your organization you want to protect your team because they are going to be bombarded with all kinds of invitations to join the new business last month we talked about Jeunesse how Jeunesse was sold to LaCour Enterprises and Kim Way probably butchering the name, was the top earning network marketer with Jeunesse. And she resigned to join forces with other successful leaders from 
the company to create this new company. So tonight was their big unveiling. They're going to be simultaneously opening up in 14 countries. Now, one of the reasons that I'm privy to all of this is because my very good friend, George Ruiz, who was a million dollar earner in four different companies, is now jumping into this one. One of the things I thought that was interesting was in one of the videos they said shows the power of our new pay plan. This is not the final pay plan. And so one of the things when you look at new companies that are being launched, pay plans change. And sometimes a company after five months or six months comes back and they got to change the pay plan because the pay plan doesn't work. The company can't make any money. The other thing that you really want to be sensitive to is the concept of futuring. Futuring where a company will tell you, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And in many cases, they never get around to doing it. Now, there are leaders from numerous companies that are going to be jumping into this, and every one of them has their own reason. So George has been a good friend and a leader, million-dollar earner in four companies. He started following me back when I was training on America Online. I got to meet him personally in uh, San Diego at a big isogenics uh, convention in the summer. The first network marketing company he was in was a company called Vaxa. And in two years, he rose to the top of the company. Then he joined USANA. Vaxa went out of business. So he joined USANA, and he rose to the top of that company. And then he joined Isagenics. He was with Isagenics for 13 years. Uh, he was a good friend uh, with Jimmy Smith, who's uh, one of the top earners in the company. Jimmy brought him over. And then he jumped into Viseo. Viseo is a six-year-old company. And uh, he became a, a diamond, reached the top level. And now he's joining this new startup. And so the logical question is why? Why are you joining this new startup? And the reason for that, and I'm not going to get into a whole lot of details, is because everybody in Viseo, is being transitioned to this new startup. They're paring down Viseo and everybody's being encouraged to go to the new company. All kinds of reasons why Viseo is basically being phased out. I don't know the answer to that, and it may never come out, but everybody in Viseo is being encouraged to jump into this new deal. Dallin Larson, who founded Viseo, was originally a new skin distributor. He was hired by USANA as their vice president of marketing, left to start Mona V with six investors, and they ran Mona V from 2006 to 2014. And then Mona V merged with Jeunesse. Now, I remember I was working with a lot of leaders in Jeunesse, and they were all excited because Jeunesse had announced that they're going into countries in South America, they're going into countries in Europe, and all of them were flat out excited because I was showing them how they could build their business in these countries. And they were really disappointed 
when Jeunesse merged with Mona V, because Mona V was already in those countries, which is the reason why Jeunesse merged with Mona V in the first place, to get access to those markets. Well, in 2017, Dallin started Viseo, and now here in 2023, looks like Viseo is riding off to the sunset. Now, for those of you that are here, why should you listen to me? Especially for those of you that are here for the first time. In the 90s, I broke the code to a social network called America Online, and I changed the networking game for everyone. I used their texting feature to develop a simple formula and scripts that helped me add thousands of like-minded people to a network marketing business in 18 months. Over the years, I've trained or shared the formula and scripts with hundreds of thousands of network marketers around the world who in turn have trained and influenced the millions of people that they work with. My formula has been responsible for creating two generations of online six, seven, and eight-figure earners it's helped transform the entire network marketing industry from a belly-to-belly, face-to-face business to a virtual one. And in 2019, when COVID spread around the world and people were forced to avoid going to public meetings, the, the, the whole Zoom concept, the virtual meetings took hold and people found my scripts were producing outrageous success for everyone. People started calling this the Max Method years ago. They now call me the father of social networking. Now I've made millions teaching network marketers, just like you, how to turn their social network personal profiles on every significant social network into an attraction marketing platform and an attraction marketing magnet and a broadcasting platform that impacts millions of people and makes them millions of dollars. My track record of developing social media six, seven, and eight-figure income earners in network marketing has become legendary. My mission in life is to help everyone with a strong desire to succeed become a top earner using social networks. Now, I'm the most enthusiastic supporter of the network marketing business model that you'll ever meet. There are many great network marketing companies out there where people are thriving financially. Some companies have done so well that they have their stock publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. Over the years, network marketing, however, has earned a bad reputation in many circles because of the actions of some companies and some unethical leaders. So it's not entirely undeserved. The internet is filled, filled with their stories. And people that don't know anything about network marketing When you meet some of these people and they go on the internet to check it out, they don't like what they see. As for new companies that are just getting started, unfortunately, startup companies like in any other kind of business have been known to crash and burn before their third year. So there are many new companies out there today that have no chance of being successful and it can be risky to get in on the ground floor. Doesn't matter who's managing them. It doesn't matter who's behind them. Now I'm currently working with many of the leaders, top earners and their teams in over a hundred companies. Many of my students started where you are today and became the top earners and leaders in their companies thanks to social networks like Facebook, and LinkedIn. Many did it faster by bringing top earners and their teams from other companies into their company. Over the last 27 years, I've worked with the leaders and top earners in over 700 companies that closed, failed to start, terminated agreements with their distributors, changed the compensation plan, or made other unpopular changes that forced their leaders to leave and find other companies to promote. Some started their own companies. Some went on to other companies or left the industry altogether. 
Many turned to creating their own products and became coaches. Many became affiliate marketers. As companies close or make decisions that are not appreciated by their leaders and distributors, the result is the migration of people out of the company and into something else. In this large group of dissatisfied, frustrated, and unhappy people are leaders with teams that will follow them to another company. These leaders are currently referred to as whales. Now, here's some important facts to remember. Residual income is a wonderful thing. And that's what attracts most people to network marketing. You make the sale once and you continuously get paid for your efforts. As John Paul Getty said, I'd rather have 1% of the effort of 100 men than 100% of my own. But you only get paid for as long as the company remains in business. So you always have to remember that you're betting on company owners when you get into a networking business. You're betting on the company's management. You're betting on the company's leadership. And you're betting on market trends. If the company closes, you lose your residual income. If the company merges with another company, the compensation plan always, always changes. If the compensation plan changes, your residual income can shrink or it can stop altogether. And if leaders are unhappy, they'll find another company and take lots of people with them. Now, when you know the 10 top earners secrets that propelled the top earners in your business to their level of success and apply them to your daily activity on LinkedIn and Facebook, you can become one too. But the top earners never talk about them. And there's a clear and understandable reason why. If I told you that every month, 200 network marketing companies are going to close at meetings, at events, companies have their new recruits. They have their, their, their fresh, excited distributors, as well as their guests, people that they want to show the business to. And if people heard that every month, 200 companies close, who's to say that this company isn't going to close? Secret number one, every month over 200 network marketing companies close, merge with other companies, fail to launch or make unpopular changes that create a large pool of people that are earnestly looking to find and join another company. Again, the top earners and leaders found in this group are routinely called whales. So let's talk about some of the reasons why a company can close. Well, close by the owners without notice. They run out of money, or frankly, they run out of enthusiasm. It will become public it's going to be interesting to see how they how they they spin it as far as what's happening to the sale by the company with a the bankruptcy they run out of money now i remember years ago there were 3 million dollar new skin distributors that decided to launch their own business so they found a product and uh they launched a company called Ideal Health. And it was an interesting concept. You sent a urine sample to the company. They analyzed it, and they could tell you what vitamins you needed. And you ended up getting personalized vitamins. The company ran for three years. And then to expand, they went and licensed the name Donald Trump. Now, Trump had been a spokesperson for ACM, and they literally bought his name, and so they became the Trump Network. They um, actively recruited top earners from other companies, 
and they kind of overdid it and they ran out of money. And one day they were there and one day they were gone. They didn't pay their distributors or their leaders. They tried to hold them off for 60 days and finally everything just fell apart. By acquisition with another company, by stopping production of their products, by pulling out of a country, by the Federal Trade Commission for violating some rules, by the FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, by the Securities and Exchange Commission. So the FTC, FDA, and SEC monitor what's happening with these companies. By a government agency with a cease and desist order or by a state attorney general with a restraining order. So, Zango, I've been working with Zango for years. And they were acquired by Zija in 2017. In 2020, Zija was acquired by Isagenics. Kivana, same thing. Zija acquired those three companies in 2017. And in 2020, Zija was absorbed by Isagenics. Longevity went on a, a roll. And they absorbed Bella Vida, Servana, Rico Life, and Free Life. Free Life was started by a good friend, uh, Ray Fultinsky. Mona V, again, absorbed by Jeunesse. New Ways became Modere. Now they're a social media company. And the network marketing company I was building became was absorbed by prepaid legal. And prepaid legal is now legal shield. And uh, about, I would say, 75 to 80% of the leaders in our company did not want to sell and promote legal insurance. So they all went to different companies. And that's how I ended up doing what I'm doing, because everybody wanted me to go with them, train their people. Secret number two, every month, over 300 network marketing companies are launched. And 93% of them, according to the Direct Sales Association, will fail within five years. They say a picture's worth a thousand words. So every month, as companies are launched, there's a big, a lot of fanfare get in on the ground floor of an opportunity. It's the best deal. And that is not always the case. So leaders rush in with their people and uh, they got to deal with a lot of uh, change, building a business, systems and everything else. And since, and when they crash and they burn, hey, we thought it was a great deal. We tried, who knew? And then everybody rushes to find another business. You want to be successful in network marketing. Number one, you have to be passionate about the products and the company. Two, you want to be working with someone that's successful, that can help you build a team with a group of people that are dedicated to helping you be successful. And three, you need a company that has good online internet tools. That's it. There is a what process out there that you should be in multiple deals because you never know when a company is going to crash and burn so you don't lose all of your income and that's a big mistake put all of your energy and efforts into one company what we're going to teach everybody in the retreat is what the top earners have learned over the years you focus on one become successful God forbid, if anything happens, you go to another company and you bring people with you, which is what we're seeing all of these people do from Mona V and these other companies. So let's talk about the 10 secrets. Well, every month, 200 companies close, fail to launch or make unpopular changes. Every month, 300 new companies are launched. So let me give you the, the remaining eight. Network marketing companies actively recruit top earners from other companies. So you can have a leader that everybody thinks is happy. 
and they're gone. Okay. This weekend, in our three-day top earner retreat, we used to do it over two days. Now it's three. We're going to spend time helping you understand the nature of every one of these so that you're never caught by surprise. Four, successful networkers will leave a good company and move to another if it's in their financial benefit. Five, successful networkers will leave a failing company and move to another one with their team. Well, that makes sense. Six, 85% of the top earners in a company have been in more than one company during their career. Just do a poll. Check with some of the top earners in your company. See what, what you get. Seven, people usually make more money in their second or third company than they did in their first. I heard that when I got into network marketing, but I was bound and determined to prove them wrong. No way. I'm going right to the top of this company. I didn't expect the owners to sell it to prepaid legal. A, when you bring in top earners, whales, your business grows faster. Nine, help is available to you to recruit a top earner. And anyone at any level of experience in network marketing can recruit a whale. 85% of the top earners have been in more than one company. So when they leave a company and they go to another one, they bring people with them. Winning the network marketing game is like playing musical chairs. Renata Lundberg is a good friend. She was the top earner in a company called Univera for 17 years. She was one of their top earning leaders. Not only did she make millions of dollars in the company, but she helped many of her team members make millions too. 17 years. And then in November, she gets an email. Well, last day for commissions, Univera has decided to transition away from network marketing. Poof, gone, over, finished. So what did she do? She found another company jumped into LifeWave, used the same tactics that she learned from me to build her business with Univera. Six months, she was a top earner in the company. So why do network marketing leaders leave a company to join another one? How can somebody go from being a happy network marketer, thrilled about the business, to an unhappy network marketer looking to make a change? Well, something has changed in the company that's changed the opportunity. And the only, when this happens, as a leader, what you really want to do is you want to go back to ownership. You want to go back to management and express your displeasure. Let them know what's wrong. And hopefully they'll fix it. If not, the only thing you can do is leave. A change in the compensation plan is the big one. So people start a company and they pay outrageous commissions because they want to attract leaders. They want to attract people. But then after 90 days or 120 days, the cash flow comes in, they're watching the money and they realize they can't afford to pay this. And so they'll go to change the compensation plan, knowing that they're going to lose leaders. But they're betting that the customers that are on their products will stay. Company goes out of business. Company leaves a market. Company changes the product. Company merges with another company. Company changes upper leadership. Company terminates leaders. Now, these are all reasons why a leader will leave a company and look to join another one. So my friend Ray Foltinsky launched Beyond Slim in January. And now he's actively getting publicity to grow the company. He founded Free Life. Ran for 22 years.
three network marketing leaders decided to launch their own company, Yanoli, started January. Hyzogenic secured financial partners to stabilize its operation and future growth this year. People were predicting it was going to go out of business. And the Body Shop, the full name is the Body Shop at Home, announced in December that it's no longer paying commissions to their distributors in the United States. So what happened? What do you do when this happens? What you do is you find another company and you go someplace else and bring your team members with you. I don't show you these stories to impress you. I show these stories to you to impress upon you what you can be doing. Gennady Veduta was from Poland and he came to the United States to learn how to use Facebook to build a network marketing business. And he invested over $40,000 in all kinds of programs before he jumped into one of my boot camps. After the second boot camp session, he called me up. He says, Max, I love what you're teaching. I wish I would have found you first. And uh, I want to come to Miami and work with you. I want you to teach me how to do this. So we worked together for a few days, showed him how to do it. Uh, and then he's going back to Poland. Now, at the time, he was building a jeunesse business. So they created an event in Poland and filled a room with 500 people while they were still in Florida. So they go back and they signed up a whole bunch of people. And then I helped them set up a Polish boot camp. Now, he's been in the industry for more than 20 years and he's never seen such numbers. For those of you that are new, I encourage you to sign up my boot camps. We'll teach you the four simple steps to recruit. I said, I've never seen these kind of numbers. In two weeks, he personally enrolled 57 people. He thought it was going to take him six months. And his team started to duplicate the process. By the end of the year, they were making $60,000 a month in Jeunesse. His team, four of his frontline partners that were in the first boot camp, two of them beat their life records, each sponsored 20 people. Well, they ended up leaving Jeunesse and they joined Zija. And in 73 days, following the steps and following the formula, they became diamonds. They were doing live broadcasts twice a day. They were building a following. Over 300 people were interested in knowing more about the business. They had 5,201 people view it in an hour. They had a great strategy for building up the audience. We're going to be sharing that strategy in our upcoming retreat. And they reached double diamond in 180 days. They brought a team of people with them from Poland to Orlando, I had the pleasure of meeting all of them. And then, so how did they do it? They talked to the people that responded to their activity. Nikan shut down 14 markets. This was back in 2015. Literally shut them down. They pulled out of 14 countries. So if you had business in any one of those countries, you were out of business. Top NECAN leaders, Reed Nelson and Greg Rooney, lost hundreds of thousands of people. Literally millions of dollars. Boom, gone. Pat Anderson. It's a top earner in Zija. She's the, the highest woman earner, good friend. And uh, she ends up bringing Pat, I'm sorry, uh, Reed and Yvonne into the business. 
So they joined Zija in 2020. I'm sorry, in 2017. And they were building a business. In January, Zija merged with Isagenics. So what did they do? They just started selling and marketing Isagenics. Greg Rooney is building a Maluga business. Something happens at a company, you find another company, you continue and you bring people with you. Now, Zija's founder, Ken Brailsford, had literally launched two other network marketing companies that were still in business. So everybody thought Zija, his big one was Nature Sunshine. Everyone thought that Zija would be a hit. He ended up, he, had, he went through three presidents. Rod Larson, nobody liked. Brian Palmer was his son-in-law. And the last one was Jerry Red. I, I was shocked to learn yesterday that Ryan, 45 years old, passed away while he was in Mexico. He fell asleep, never woke, worked up, never woke up. Probably going to track it back to a COVID shot. All right. But again, what happened with Ken, he got tired of putting all this money to get the company to run. At some point in time, the owners expect natural organic growth. If it doesn't happen, he just he, he got tired. So he cut a deal with uh, um, Jim Coover and uh, Isagenix took him over. David Moses was the master distributor of Isagenix. He's a good friend. And uh, um, I've had wonderful times working with uh, leaders in different companies and watching their organizations thrive, literally thrive. And when a company has, an, has a difficult issue, boom. If necessary, I'll introduce them to owners and leaders in other companies. So David Moses is now actively promoting Isagenics. He's uh, one of the top earners in the company now. And so David is going to be rolling up his sleeves to protect his team from the assault that he can expect from Isagenics people that have let, that, are, that went over to the other company. Same thing with Pat, who was one of the top earners in Zija, now actively building an isogenics business. And Fred Holmes, another mil very successful network marketer that has been in the industry for years, goes with the flow. David Norrie and his wife would leave isogenics and they'd go to Modera. His wife was a bikini model. Not exactly something that's duplicatable. Sandy Kong was one of the top earners in Zango when we met years ago. Good friend. And uh, was shocked when the company was absorbed by Zija. And then shocked again when Zija merged with Isagenics. So she went from Zango to Zija, Zija to Isagenics. And then finally she said, you know what? I, I, I want to be my own, in charge of my own destiny. So she went out and she found a company that she's actively promoting. Jerry Campisi was a new skin million dollar top earner who after making millions of dollars left and helped launch a company called Kivana with Mark Yarnell and John Terhune. Kivana merged with Zija. Jerry's a nice guy, not at all social media inclined. And now 
he's building an isogenics business. Howard Steger, back in 2010, brand new to social media, built a million dollar business in 11 months using LinkedIn and MySpace. He never liked Facebook. And of course, a few years ago, his company declared bankruptcy. It happens. It happens. And the point that I'm trying to make to all of you is you build one business. And I want to invite all of you to participate in our three-day top earner retreat. Every retreat is different. In this retreat, we're going to be talking about different times, different companies, things that are taking place. Let me... Oh, and by the way, um, here's a top earner uh, from Maluka that uh, joined this company and uh, they're actively going to be going after other Maluga people. He waited out the uh, the time limit. See, everybody's got a story. It's all, it's all about stories. To be successful in social media, it's all about talking to people. So the retreat's going to take place over three days. <clears throat> and your tools are how network marketers catch whales, our 90-day game plan, and of course, you have our, our scripts. Over three days. Friday, all the sessions start at 10 o'clock. Uh, they run from 10 o'clock until 3 o'clock on Friday, 10 o'clock to 3 o'clock on Saturday, and 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock on Sunday. I'm going to share how my story with network marketing, the 10 big secrets. We're going to take all of the 10 secrets that I shared with you, and we're going to dig deep into them, how to connect with whales, and the ways people make money online and how you can recruit them into your business. Then on Saturday, how to establish a million-dollar mindset, secrets to closing more sales in less time, live texting tactics that produce results. This is not the create, connect, communicate, and close. This is an advanced program. And then we're going to jump into the 90-day game plan, how you train your team so that it duplicates. And then finally, on Sunday, how to win over people that are more successful than you, how to separate the real deal from the scam, how to manage and stimulate your business, the importance of systems and duplication, and finally, we're going to help you establish a plan of action. We have lessons from $16 million earners that participated in previous retreats, let me, I'm going to put in the chat window all of the sessions are recorded so go to maxsteingart.com forward slash retreat and use the promo code, special promo. It'll reduce the price to 279. And Sheila writes, turns out that the, the company that I was with is imploding. One of the leaders is starting her own company. My leader hasn't reached out to me. I need to reach out to him. 
And Carla writes, Kiani just merged with Amare. Kiani had a very, very rough time. Okay, so I want to share a story with you. LinkedIn has added some new features. A big one is celebrations. And what this is going to do for all of you, it's going to enable you to take three of my most effective strategies, job changes, birthdays, anniversaries. And uh, th that, that price is uh, US. And there's also a two payment option, if that'll help you. Now, I want to share a story with you. Here's a young man that I started working with 21 years ago. He learned the process. Okay. He was building a prepaid legal business. He got his income up to about $3,000 a month. And came back to network marketing in 2020. Today, he has 400,000 people in his business. At the end of 2020, he had 200. At the end of 2021, he had 17,000. Bill, all the times are East Coast. The retreat is 10 a.m. East Coast time. 17,000 people, December of 2021. At the end of January, those 17,000 people became 38,000 because there was organic growth. How did he do it? He brought leaders. He's living the dream. Good way to share it. My business has grown from 72,000 people in August to over 300,000 members. The last whale he enrolled added over 200,000 people to his business. Uh, Lynn, organic, um, and yes, the retreat is recorded. She'll have access to those recordings for 11 months. Lynn, organic growth is you build a team and the team internally duplicates. People love the products, they tell their friends. People love the products, they tell their neighbors. So it grows. And the more people love the product, the more people refer the products, the organization grows. So we had 72,000 people in, I think it was August, And he was, in one week, he recruited 25 people. Once you learn the process, it's simple. All of you are heading down the same road. And uh, if you can't make all of the sessions, every session is going to be recorded. And I got to tell you, with this new company just getting started again for those of you that are in any of those companies you need to be
Well, that uh, what company he uh, he went to the new startup. He went to this new startup that uh, I can't even tell you the name because I didn't hear it. It was on today at seven o'clock. And, and every, everybody's got a story. Okay. You know, when uh, Jim McCune, who's a school principal, was building an Amway business, he got to Emerald and then he lost one of his diamonds because they have a breakaway compensation plan. Says, hey, I'm not going to stay with this. So we went over to Maluka. Now he's a corporate director. He's got, I think, five or six Amway diamonds because he went back to the Amway people and said, hey, did you know? Do you know what a breakaway program is? My company had a breakaway compensation plan. I had no idea what it, what it meant. No idea. Now, if I go over to Facebook. And look up my friend, George. Now, just so you understand, George loved isogenics. Okay. He didn't have a problem with the company. It, it, it was an issue. Let me refresh. He had to leave. So he's putting all kinds of stuff up there about it. Let me come back. So I invite all of you to spend Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with me. Go to Max Longer dot com forward slash retreat use the special promo code special code special promo and it'll reduce the price to 279 applying this information will have an explosive effect on the size of your business what you're going to learn help francisco build a team of 72,000 people in 20 months now he's got 400,000 people i expect to hear from him at the end of February, he recruited another whale who was supposed to bring 100,000 people over. Sheldon added 3,500 people to his business in three weeks. Helped Cindy add 3,000 people to his business in three months. Now, Francisco developed a script that I absolutely love. And uh, I share it with my coaching students. He puts himself out there as a, well, actually, even in boot camp, we teach you how to put yourself out there as a social media expert. But I gave him extra language and a strategy that helps him get the attention of these top earners. Uh, We'll be sharing some of them, not all of them in the retreat, um, but all of my coaching students get it. Nancy came out of the retreat, signed up 41 customers and one business builder. There is no shortage of people to talk to. None. Every day, you can be logging on and having conversations with people. And now what LinkedIn has done, LinkedIn has made it so easy. And I'm, I'm looking at some of the people that are here and uh, Joe, it's nice to see you. I got it. I got to Let me come back over here and show you this. And for some of my uh, older coaching students that are here, um, we sent out a, an email today 
I have a special um, coaching program for former coaching students. So if any of you are interested in getting the details type, just put coaching, put your phone number in the chat window and we'll have somebody call you. But let me show you what, let me show you what LinkedIn has done. And again, for my students that have been doing this for a while, go over to your network. And then click on connections. And with search with filters. So your first level, I've got 10,000. Now go up to the search window. Type in looking. So I have 1,100 people that I'm connected with. And a high percentage of them are looking for an opportunity. Bring up the profile. Open to work. How easy is this? You can go over here to contact information. So I've been connected with this guy since December of 2021. You get 10 on a page. Here's another one. Come over to the message. Well, I've never talked to this guy. But I've been connected to him since 2018. And I guarantee all of you, you do you do exactly the same thing. You're going to be able to reconnect with some of these people. So looking, I got 1,100. Seeking, I got another 352. There are people that you are already connected to. There is nothing to prevent you from being successful. Additionally, let me let me pop this in the chat. I have opened up registration from my March boot camp that starts on March the 9th. Use the promo code, big deal, it'll drop the price to $98. Um, all of these LinkedIn tactics are available with the free version and Blair you'll be happy to know that we came up with in this last boot camp we came up with some strategies that will enable you to build the business with the free version I'm really excited about that.
All right, now, let me look at all of the messages that are here. <clears throat> and you know, with every, let me, let me just say this. Every time there's a new owner, things change. So you look up the top, you found. Let me come back over here. Deanna signed up six people after the retreat. Let me. Now, all of you are going to develop your own success stories. You have unlimited access to people. You create your profile to attract the people that you know in advance would be interested in what you're doing. Now, as soon as you register for, for boot camp, even though boot camp doesn't start until March the 9th, you're going to have immediate access to the February boot camp, the, all the recorded sessions. So you can get started right away. We heard from Joel last month. He's having his first million dollar year. Or he had his first million dollar year last year. And this year, he's so flat out excited, he expects to do 10. It's a big jump. In the last two months, he brought 100 people into his business. You're all heading down the same road. Let's see what we got here in the chat. Again, for former coaching students, we have a special uh, advanced coaching program. If any of you are interested in it, put your phone number coaching in the chat. One of my staff members will reach out to you tomorrow. Richard, I uh, I appreciated the note. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of this, um, it's a holiday weekend, and where I normally will um, do sessions over the holidays, I uh, spend Sunday and uh, Monday with my granddaughter. So hey, it's a holiday. <clears throat> I guess next time I have to send out a some kind of a no, some kind of a notice. Um, it doesn't matter what you're selling; it really doesn't. If you have any idea who your ideal prospect is for your business, we'll show you how to find them, how to make the connection. If you're not talking every day to 10 people about your business you could be and if you're not closing one or two people now for those of you like i said that are in actually it's going to be interesting because 
with Viseo making that change, not everybody in Viseo is going to be thrilled with this new company. So just like those people are out there trying to recruit people from Isogenics, Chanesse, Mona V. People typically go after people in the companies that they came from first. And so if people, have, and that's one of the things we're going to teach in the retreat, we're going to teach all of you how to build up confidence with your team so that they they can't be motivated to look. And okay, you know what I'm going to do? All right. Let me come over here to LinkedIn. I'm just scrolling down. I'm looking at some of the folks that are here. I'm looking for some new names. And we'll take a look at some profiles. See, my nine to five requires I find cash flow notes and structured settlement recipients. I want to share something with you. I was working with I was working with a fellow that was building a Maluka business. Oops. His sponsor died. Okay. He owned a power wash cleaning company. He could barely afford to put tires on his car. In one year, well, I'll let him tell you. Hey, Dan, how are you? Good, how are you? Look, I've heard from a lot of students in the last uh, two or three days. Last time we spoke, you know, you would use the training that you got from me to expand your franchise business. And I think you said that, you know, now they've made, they kind of brought you and made your partner. Yeah, they have actually, Max. Through uh, using your system, one of the things that, that happened for me is that I, you know, I learned how to contact people on LinkedIn. And some of those contacts became so powerful that I was able to close some, close one, a major, major account with Verizon Wireless that we signed a, a contract for $20 million that is uh, to clean cell phone towers. But since then, we've also made contact with people that manage the uh, municipal water towers and uh, water treatment facilities. And in doing so, I mean, it has blown up my business. And it's, like I said before, you know, I never would have known how to contact people on LinkedIn. I never would have known to even use LinkedIn for that sort of thing. If it hadn't been that I came across to you through somebody in, when I was in networking, when I was in network marketing. And I know a lot of people use it for network marketing, but it can be for anything. Just learning how to contact people is the biggest thing. It, it has been so powerful. It's just unbelievable that last year I was struggling financially. 
And then by the end of the year and this year, I will make over $2 million. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's like unbelievable. It, it's actually one of those things that was like, it's like one of those things I wasn't sure I believed it until, until it happened. So to answer your question, if you know, Um, who you're looking for, okay? If you're looking for structured settlement recipients, A, you can modify your page to attract those people. And the other thing is you go out and you connect with people that could refer them to you. So it works. Both ways. Let me. And I'm just going to start looking some of you up. Well, Gordon, we've been connected since 2015. Gordon, I'm going to give you a call tomorrow. We can catch up.
Well, Ken, doesn't look like you're doing anything with um, with LinkedIn, which is a huge, huge mistake. And uh, Rick, it doesn't look like you're doing anything on LinkedIn. Uh, it's not that I'm muted. It's like, well, Uh, Beryl, I, uh, let me unmute you. I don't understand what you're saying. You know, if you can't copy them, take a picture. Or send me a note on LinkedIn. Find me on LinkedIn, send me a note. Anybody else?
Well, Rick. Uh, no, boot camp is not a prerequisite for the retreat. Okay, let me see if I can find Lynn. Hi there. Hi, Lynn. Uh, do you have a LinkedIn page? I do, but it's minimal. Uh, the second one down. Okay. This one, yes. Well, so the Sunshine Play Care, this is a daycare center? Uh, yeah, that's my brick and mortar. Okay. Let me show you something. You come up here. This is, this is why you're going to love LinkedIn. Actually, it's, we should do it one word. It's always easy to talk to people that you have a lot in common with. So LinkedIn has roughly. Oh, wow. 215,000 <laughs> um, people that have daycare facilities. Now you come up here and you look at I've thought about this. Yes. Personal trainers. Yes. You got six hundred and twenty-eight thousand. Wow. Then I'm, uh, I'm almost afraid to show you this because you won't go to sleep tonight. <laughs> this is exciting. I think about our amp product. I'm I'm a bodybuilder and I use the amp product. This is this would just be amazing for this. Looking for <laughs> opportunity. Let's see all the personal trainers that are looking for an opportunity. You got 4,400. Wow. Now seeking. An opportunity. You got twenty three hundred. What what is the difference between looking and seeking? Is that not the same thing? Well, it is, but you know, some it's language, right? Okay. So there. So some people say looking. Some people say seeking. I could go up here and say seeking opportunity. If we go over here and we go opportunities. you'll get a whole different group. Wow. In fact, you could probably go on here and misspell isogenics and see how many people are on LinkedIn that misspelled isogenics. <laughs> so you, you got th another 3,500. 3,500, yes. Yeah. So, so your ability to, um, let, let's go back and take a look at your profile. It, 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 um, I'll send you a connection request. So if we look <laughs> at your your profile, um, so um, two thousand and sixteen, um.
Is this Sydney, Australia? No, Canada, Cape Breton Island. Okay. Um, 2016. I think I did a uh, two. Um, two IC University trainings in either 16 or 15, it could have been 15. Um, but you, you and, and what level are you in the company right now? I've, I've just been a consumer until just now, just really the last three, four months starting to take this seriously. Okay. Um, I'm going to shoot myself. Lynn, if you put your, put your number in the chat and, mm -hmm. uh, I'll give you a call and I'll give you some, some tips on, on, on how to do this. I, I, I've helped over 50 people <clears throat> become million dollar earners in isogenics. Uh, a lot of them have left and they've gone other places, but it doesn't diminish the, um, doesn't diminish the opportunity. I mean, people, people, um, people, you know, change, you know, for all, all kinds of uh, different reasons. Right. And uh, I love the cleanse. I, I get you asked about the position that I guess I say I'm a consultant, but I haven't really done a lot until really just really taking it seriously. I've been a product user. Right. Well, which is, which is good because that, that's your story. And okay. it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing product. So, so I'll give you an example. If you have, let's say an hour and a half a day, two hours, mm. then you, you statistically, you should be, you can talk to 20 people a day. And if you're talking to 20 people a day, you should be able to close two. Now, I know they just changed the comp plan, and uh, um, I understand they've they've improved it. But yeah, so twenty percent. Yeah. So I'm not sure the numbers are working the same way. But last year, what what we used to teach is uh, you know u plus two then plus two. Yes. So realistically. If you're talking to equally qualified people and you get into the rhythm, you can close three people a week. So what you do is you take that third, and if you sign up two people in one week, there was an extra bonus. Yes. So what you do is you take that third person, instead of signing them up that week, you sign them up the following week. So one week you're doing two, the next week you're doing four, the next mm -hmm. week two the next week you're doing four and then you help those people each get two yes and, and oh so carl is telling me that's uh they don't do that anymore well whatever it is i i like okay. i said I, you know it, you know the the bottom line is what you you want to do is you want to build a team and um um one one of my you know one of my favorite students was Rhonda Collier, who when we started working together, she was making a hundred hundred and fifty thousand dollars in her and three years later she was making seven fifty. Now she's a million dollar earner. Wow. And uh are you on Facebook too? Yes. See, George was in isogenics. Yes. And, and uh, I'll tell you, George, when he got into isogenics, was married. And he um, put the, he put, 
the business in his wife's name. Then he got a divorce. <laughs> okay. And so, he, you know, he, he, he made cut a deal with his, his ex. You know, she, she got a third. He gets a third and a third goes for taxes. Well, then he met Adrian. She was also an isogenic rep and he married her. She didn't like that. His wife didn't like that. So um, any, anyway, they, they got into a situation where he wasn't getting the money and she stopped paying taxes. So the IRS came in and seized the account and, you know, just started collecting all the money. So nobody was getting any money mm. for like five months. And he couldn't get isogenics to give him the money because legally it was in her name. Yeah. So he had no choice. He, 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 he had to go. He, and he, he was very good friends with Dallin Larson. So he joined the, uh, um, Paseo and uh, now, you know, he's going into this other business because that's where the majority of the Viseo people are going. I have no, I, I don't know very much about it, but I, I wanted to make sure that we did this session tonight because I wanted everybody to know that just because someone starts a new company. Uh, Joe, I'm going to give you a call tomorrow. And uh, okay, and and so let me find you on here. I'm in the middle of one of your programs. Is this you here? Uh, yes. That's correct. Well, okay, so you got But there, there's some things that you can do on. This page. I'll send you. That that are going to that would, would produce almost uh, instantaneous. Results um, change your picture. OK. Okay. Just yeah, let's do it tonight. Just change your picture. Just put a different picture up there, and uh, wait and see how many people react and respond to it. I've noticed that. Yeah. Well, see, the key then is to talk to them. To have a is to have a conversation with people. Yeah. And and of course, then what we want to do is we want to qualify. We want to talk to the people that clearly would be. Um, yeah, see, this is there. There's subtler ways to do this. That see, I'm a big believer in proactively going out and uh, starting conversations with people, as opposed to waiting. For people to find you so did you say you're in the you're you're in the middle of one of one of them which program are you going through um i just want i'd have to look it up here okay we can talk about it tomorrow for sure yeah and i'm i've one of the things you said was remove the things off your facebook page that have to do with isogenics and i did that right away uh started doing that 
Yeah. And I realize after going through a lot of your program, I'm halfway through um, that my page needs to have an overhaul. Well, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. All right, now, uh, again, uh, I nor I, I, this this retreat looks like it, it's it's probably going to be one of the biggest retreats I've done. Wow. So I'm going to have to cut off um registration uh, only because i like to interact with everybody but i do these retreats once a quarter and the purpose is to teach all of you the things that you're not you're not going to hear this anyplace else um um and uh It's easy to do, really. It, it, it's there are some basic fundamentals. It's all about conversation. It's all about talking to people and getting into the rhythm of the conversation. There's nothing to prevent any of you from easily talking to three or four, at least three or four people a day, and if you qualify them correctly your closing ratios are going to be outrageously high. So um, this this year, um, I'm looking at, I've never seen faster results, faster responses. Let me just give you one more example that I, that I just thought of. You know, everybody, um, come up here, let's see, uh, Matthew. Matthew is, is somebody that I'm coaching and Matthew had a, had, uh, works for the DEA and, uh, there's nothing on his profile. He was going after law enforcement people because a lot of people in law enforcement are looking to get out of law enforcement. So we developed some strategies and, uh, I got I got this from him two weeks ago on after three weeks. That's all it took. He sends me this. I signed up five people in the last three days. Okay, it's it, it again. It comes all the way down. To, it comes down to conversation. Uh, uh, Matthew is building a, a Maluka business. And, and unfortunately, there's a lot of people on LinkedIn in Maluka that are just, just spamming people like crazy. But, but if we come up here after, after the first two weeks, he was picking good people. He was just saying the wrong things. So but what I did was I brought up the Miranda. I said, look, if you're going to arrest somebody, you're required to read them their rights. And if you deviate, if you don't read, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you. I said, if you don't say this and you arrest somebody, the judge is going to throw it out. By the same token, if you follow my scripts, you're going to close, you're going to close more people. And, uh, and, you know, and, it, it, you know, and clearly, okay, and it worked because he ended up with um, five people in three days. And now he's got a, last time I spoke to him, he's got something like 16 people that are um, waiting to talk to him. So... You, you have unlimited access to people. And it's just a matter of conversation. So um, tomorrow we'll be back on our regular schedule. We'll have an Ask Max session from 
Um, okay, Beryl, let me. Let me unmute you. Yeah, hi, hi, Bill. I was trying to look you up, and I can't find you. Were you listed as another under another name? In your email, or I'm, I. You broke up. I couldn't hear you. Um, do you uh, looking for me? We're in your email. It, it, I can tell you what my email address is if that's what you mean. That'll help. Um, the real dash or hyphen wild assets at pm like private mail dot me. So that's for real hyphen wild assets at pm dot. I, I tell you what, Carol, if you could type it into the chat. Okay, I'll do that. I, I can look it up that way. It's pronounced the real, like the first part of the word. Uh -huh. I grew up hating my name because um, of the way people said Burl or Barrel. <laughs> I grew up with fat, funny Burls, Melton, Burl, Burl Eyes, et cetera. <laughs> but when I was told by a linguist how my name was pronounced at 30, I said, I can live with that. Okay, well, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a call tomorrow. Uh, I, I'm, uh, let me, is that? Uh, Can you make it in the afternoon because I have um, a dentist sure. appointment in the morning? Is your number still uh, ending 0888? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I'll be calling you from area code uh, 561. Do so you want to show your name on it? Uh, yeah, it should. Okay. That'd be fine. I appreciate it. I am. Um... Okay. Doke. All right. And as for everybody else, I will, like I said, 930 tomorrow, we'll be back with um, our Ask Max schedule. And uh, I, I've got now tomorrow night is also our last session of boot camp and it's all about closing the sale. So we'll um, we're going to be introducing some new closing techniques remember every month is different we have different holidays and uh um, things are different uh going on with the economy uh example every month companies are letting people go so there's always new opportunities to reach out and talk to people so look i'm i appreciate i hope all of you learned a little something tonight and uh, 
We'll catch up with all of you tomorrow. Until next time, best of luck in building your business. God bless.